Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Today's Friday, June 25th. Currently it's 69 degrees. High today is 86. Chance of rain is zero. Humidity 70%. Winds are at three miles per hour. Air quality is 88. It's gone up some. Um, I am don't know if my painter's gonna be here today or not, but if he does, he's gonna be here soon. So I'm gonna go over everything like after I come to sit down, except for today's tidbits. Now I don't have that much to go over and then we'll go look around. And if I have to do tidbits inside, I will. Um, anyway, I need eight more questions for Ask My Tablet to be able to do another one of those. Today's thumbnail is pretty obvious, but it's corn dogs and onion rings. And they were both really good. I love those State Farm corn dogs. Uh, what's for dinner tonight's pizza? I, I don't think we have enough for, we got stuff for a salad, but I think we might need a salad mix, you know, with the lettuce. I'm not for sure. Uh, we may have to go get a salad to go with it. I love pizza and salad. Um, and today's question is, do you like corn dogs? Some people love them. Some people are so-so about them. Some don't like them at all. And it's just something we forget to have. We hadn't had them in months, in months, probably six months. And then we had them last night, and they were actually really good. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to have them every week or anything, you know, but uh, I, I do like them. And those were Red Robin onion rings, and they're really good. Really, really good. Okay. Okay. We'll get a break. I'm going to turn on this tablet and let it be doing its thing. Okay. Get it ready. All these plants in here are doing great. I think we're going to take a few off this one. Off this spider plant. See those down there? You can make another plant out of that. Some of these down here. I don't know. I might need to do some pruning down here. We've got some of the dead ends. I don't know. If maybe they're getting too much water now. I don't know. The top looks great though. It's doing really good. Let's see how it looks. That's some of these can be kind of finicky. But this one's looking really good. I'm trying to get it all in. This has grown some since we got it. This one's definitely grown some here. I don't think I trimmed this one back far enough. It has got some new a little bit of new growth on it, but maybe I'll turn it this way, I think, now. And these are looking good, too. Potatoes, I think they're going to be on the way out. I mean, something's been eating on that little potato I put down there. <laughs> That's funny. It's a chipmunk ate on the potato. Hope they don't dig those up. Um, once they turn yellow, you just stop watering them. And, and it says it's supposed to toughen up the skin on them. My well, tomato, it's grown some, but I'm not seeing any, any blooms on it. I hope one of these grows into an eggplant, that, the flowers that were there. So, we mowed yesterday and, the, and Joy was back here with the riding mower. She went into a curve 
I mean, tur she turned sharp on one of these little bitty hills. The blade hit into the grass, and then it came off, the belt came off again. So I'm hoping that my painter or my brother is supposed to be here tomorrow. One of the two will help us get the belt back on. I can't get down on my knees like that and get, you get a weird position trying to work on that. I can't, I can't do it. My knees are shot. I see one turning tomato in there. And I found a really big tomato somewhere. Now I can't remember exactly where it was. I'm glad they turn red when they get ripe. They're easier to see. <laughs> Everybody's doing good here. Starting to get tomatoes everywhere. Make sure to just try these Japanese black ones here. That's these here that's got so many on it. Got a lot. You can see back in here more. Same back in there. You look down in here. This is a, a Japanese black too. She's got lots of them. The beef steak's full. Getting more green beans coming. You can see them when you look around. growing something been digging right there look at that it got in here didn't dig up the you know I don't know what it was looking for there's little roots it, here it ate something there or something but it didn't go for the onion you'd think they wouldn't like the onions so it didn't do much damage being in there, trying to get all these back here. Come on. Get in here. Everybody else. These blooms are so pretty. There's a pretty big tomato down there. And the banana peppers are starting to look better too. Oh, this one's dying. This I wonder why that one's dying right there. That one vine. Hmm. I don't know. I've already grabbed a hold of this other trellis I put in here. I don't know what's happened to some one of those vines. Starting to see more of the banana peppers on here. Let's see how my cucumbers doing here. Where are you? There it is. Oh, that one's about ready. See it. Found another one pretty big. I'm trying to remember what well, oh it's down here at the bottom. Let's see how big it is. I can see it. Yeah, it's about the same size as that other one. I mean they're to where you can eat them. We'll probably have some. I was thinking about making like a if we don't go get a salad mix, I was thinking about maybe just making like a cucumber salad. We got some onion in there. 
might just do that. I'm trying to see where that other big one was. Oh, you're coming out too soon. I mean, too far. Um, can you go this way? Come out through there. That'd be a good place for you to go. Uh, well, it's in here. They're hard to see. wonder how that one looks that I did uh, yesterday. See? That's the one I put the thing in there. Uh, so pollinated. And it's looking. Oh. It's looking good. Let's see if I can get it. Don't cooperate. I'm trying to get a picture of it, but the sun is getting it funny. Anyway, there's another big one. There's one over there. That's a different kind, I can tell. The okra is okay that I planted. It's not really droopy or anything. Yeah, this is a different one, you can tell, a different type right here. It's all curly. Uh, that's a different type, you can tell easily it's different from the others. There's another one growing there. So at least I'm gonna have some cucumbers. Last year I didn't get but a couple. And uh, they didn't do good. They got like blight stuff on them. I thought I saw a little hole over here somewhere. I'm surprised that those okras are looking okay. I, after I picked all the early peppers off of these, you know, the, uh, I saw a video saying it would, they would grow faster, and they have. They have grown faster because I pulled all the, I harvested them, we ate them in salads and stuff. But this one here has grown a good six inches, I'll bet, since I did it. They all have, they had them on there. So I was skeptical about that. I'm like, well, I could get a lot bigger, you know, but they'll grow more if the, after they grow taller, they'll grow a lot more than they would have. I was trying to see if this was making an eggplant. It looks like it's going to. The eggplants are looking better than they did. That's for sure. So my remedies working on them. And of course the squash are looking better. They look great. Is there another female out? See, I see this one's already grown some since I showed y'all. That, that one is. This one looks a little better right here. There's the okra in there, they're okay. I had the water yesterday, which I did a video. Is that another female or is that a male? That's a male. But that one's not shriveling yet, down there. So I got two zucchinis. This one's getting ready to, look at all the flowers down in here. It's getting ready to, oh, there's a, there's a female right there. That'll be a female flower. So I'll, I'll pollinate it. Boy, they're getting big, aren't they? Wow. That one's looking better over there too. So that'll be plenty, I'm sure, whatever makes it. And maybe some new ones will come up in the places I put. You can see that the soil has sunk down since I put it in. It was all the way up to the top. On both of them that's okay it'll it'll break down anyway I put put uh, bird seed in yesterday but we ended up getting it all mowed I think that there's a little bitty spot over there we might have missed but you can see where this, over here where she dug down she had it too low you can see every time she turned it was digging down into the grass into the dirt almost 
and that put strain on it and it popped that belt right off wow these are looking great y'all between the two different ones they look great I like the two different kinds you know this is different than that obviously you can see the difference It's a pretty one right here. I'm thinking these are gonna fall down in here. If not, I'm gonna harvest them after they're all dried for a long time. This one's looking good right here. It's gonna have more blooms. These purple ones look good with the cornflowers. So the yard's looking good. I, I, we worked on it, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. And I did, I, I went on the outside on the road with the, the, with the push mower because there was weeds growing up through the concrete. You know. Oh, I got my glasses on my, my sunglasses on my head. My hat. But we got it looking pretty good. It's like putting green out here, but it's just rough on it to mow it down that low. I don't think she's gonna do it, at least not in the back anymore. There's too many little hills and stuff and you can see what happened. I wish these would all go grow up and have some flowers soon. And be um, uh, ants are all over this. That's good for now. <coughs> There's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. Hmm. These are drying pretty good here. I'll keep some just in case they don't come up on their own next year. I use mostly the seeds from last year's flowers for everything. I put some uh, marigolds out, seeds out here, but they didn't ever do anything. off me bug I think this winter, once all this, if it dies off, I may put something on it that might kill this, the rest of that bush, because it's a real pain. 
if you let it grow, it's going to just ruin the flowers, and I don't want that bush there anymore. It grows really fast, and uh, before you know it, it's just sticking out into the darn driveway or something that gets so big. So. Well, his electric mower's quiet. My left knee is hurting. Pretty bad. My try is acting up, and I had several injuries on in both my knees. Sports injuries and from a wreck. The birdies. Time for today's tidbits. Fix this here. What happened? Went on. Why are mountains triangular shaped? Various forces like tectonic forces, gravity, friction, erosion, and climate contribute to mountains' formation. The two main forces for its triangular shape are gravitational force and friction, which pull the sand towards the ground. It also gets this shape when rivers pass between the mountain ranges. I hear the train. You don't hear that very often anymore. Cold water released into Idaho Snake River. Authorities in Idaho have started releasing 43 degree cold waters from Dwarshack Dam into the Snake River to keep its temperatures cool ahead of a likely 100 degree heat wave. The goal is to keep the temperature of the Snake River from exceeding 68 to help the migrating salmon and steelhead fishes. Temperatures above 70 can be harmful to these fishes. Well, that would be awful if a bunch of them died because it was too warm. The deadly volcanic eruption of Krakatau The eruption of the Krakatau volcano in the Sunda Strait on August 1883 was one of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in modern history. It had an explosive force of a 200 megaton bomb and killed over 36,000 people. It cooled the entire earth by an average of 33.8 degrees in the following months. Wow, that's crazy. The surreal Mendenhall Glacier of Alaska. Mendenhall is one of the most beautiful and accessible glaciers in North America. This ice blue sheet stretches over 13.6 mile is in the Mendenhall Valley, southeastern Alaska. It flows from the southern half of the vast Juneau ice field. The melting of the Mendenhall Glacier has created magnificent ice caves. Voracious grasshoppers emerge in Montana. Oh boy, talk about your garden going. A plague of voracious grasshoppers has reportedly started showing up in central Montana's Phillips County. These bugs can severely impact crops and their prices if left unaddressed. To blunt the grasshoppers' economic damage, the U.S. Agriculture Department has begun spraying Diphenbenzuron to kill grasshopper nymphs before they grow into adults. Does extreme heat bend rail tracks? Extreme heat can be hazardous for train travel as it causes railroad tracks to bend. When temperatures rise, steel tracks curve or buckle as they absorb heat and expand. The trains must travel at slower speeds to avoid any accidents as extreme heat elongates the track and pulls it out of shape. I never knew that. I never even thought it could do that. How is the severity of tornadoes measured? 
Tornado strength is currently measured using the enhanced Fujita scale or EF scale. It rates a tornado from 0 to 5 based on estimated wind speeds and severity of the damage. The EF scale is a revised version of the earlier used Fujita scale and became operational on February 1, 2007 to reflect better tornado damage surveys. What is an ice storm? An ice storm is characterized by prolonged freezing rain that results in the accumulation of at least 0.25 inch of ice on exposed surfaces. Ice storms usually occur when the air temperature is at or just above freezing. It can damage power lines, create hazardous driving and walking conditions. Iceland's top black beach. Regisfera is a world-famous black sand beach on the south coast of Iceland. The beach was formed when lava flowed into the ocean and got cooled almost instantly as it touched the water. The beach is known for its beautiful black sand, basalt columns, lava formation, and dangerous sneaker waves. And lastly, California's Palm Springs gets rain on June 23 after 128 years. Wow. The Palm Springs city of, in California received 0.03 of an inch of rainfall for the first time on June 23 after 128 years. Warm temperatures accompanied the rain with highs reaching 100 degrees in Palm Springs, 97 degrees in Indio, and 104 degrees in Thermal. The moisture comes at a time when Southern California reported zero rainfall this year. Wow, that's crazy too. And that's it for today's tidbits, everyone. That's going to be it for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with someone today, please. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm not sure what I'll be doing later. Get some questions in for Ask My Tablet. We need eight more. Bye, everyone, and have a great day. God bless.